under chairs. <laughs> I've looked under tables. I've tried to find the key. The 50 million fables, they call me the seeker. I've been searching low and high. <laughs> Don't get to get what I'm after. Till the day I die. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just the trailer says the streamer. Never something sounds like, I'm sorry, I, I love that song too much, but, yeah, yeah, hopefully I don't get copyright one, hopefully I don't get a copyright just for singing, I mean, I didn't play the, uh, I did not play the audio, I did was just sing the lyrics, don't tell me lyrics are gonna be copyright, oh, who am I kidding, this is YouTube, anything is copyright, infringing, which is very sad, um, so yeah, um, yeah, but whenever, I, yeah, I think there was a movie called, uh, The Seagull, if I'm not mistaken. Is that, is that the name of an actual movie? Yeah, I think it is. Hmm. I don't know what else is it, but if it's something that sounds like The Seeker, yeah. I've tried to find the key to 50 million fables. They call me the streamer. <laughs> the, yeah, I hope no one makes that into a meme. Who am I kidding? This is the internet. They'll make it into a meme. So I was not interested in seeing this tiny commercial because it's just a commercial. You know what I need? I could just watch this in my spare time. But from what I think, the old, the guy here, I think this is Dave Batista in makeup. And here I am thinking he would not do more movies with Disney after Dark. Yeah, the whole Disney situation is... Disney... Here's the thing. Half the time... Okay, like... um, Sometimes they really... I mean, they screwed up with Star Wars, and... They really did... They did... They screwed the... They kind of, you know, screwed the pooch. They shot themselves in the foot very easily when they fired James Gunn. Here's the thing. I can't say... I, I saw the tweets from James Gunn. Thought they were offensive. But James Gunn wrote those things like... Tweeted those like 10 years ago. And he's matured ever since. He said, yeah, I was uh, pretty stupid at the time. Uh, but now I'm a better... I'm more mature... Then they fire him from Guardians Volume 3 and then rehire him just when he's already doing it for their competitor. And, okay, from what I hear, he's not going to do anything else with Marvel or Disney after Guardians Volume 3, which is sad. I don't know. They just care about what the, the Karens off the internet. I'm not using the term Social Justice Warrior or its initials. Um, damn it. No, I'm not slitting myself in the wrist for that. All right, yeah, I'm just seeing it's because I saw Dave Batista. Whenever I think of Dave Batista and Disney together, now I'm like, okay, so this might be the only time they ever do something. If it is Dave Batista, I'd be surprised. I hope it really is, because if not, I'm gonna be disappointed. But meet the streamer, the Disney Bundle. Hello, friend. I've streamed every stream you can stream. There are funny streams. Dramatic streams, all kinds of streams out there, but there's only one stream. <laughs> oh, it is. It is Dave Batista. Hey, oh, I love Dave Batista, man. That has every kind of stream you could ever want to stream. It's called the Disney Bundle, and it gives you Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus for only thirteen ninety nine a month. And I like to stream it real good. I wake up and stream The Mandalorian. <laughs> By late morning, I'm hooting and hollering for the Orioles. Yes! Mid-afternoon, I'll dive into something that tickles my heart feathers, like soul. And by nightfall, I'm watching June Osborne take down the gosh darn patriarchy on The Handmaid's Tale. Well, it's a day spent streaming the Disney Bundle. One minute, you're watching a good old-fashioned football jamboree, and the next, you're watching Love, Victor. I love Victor. Yeah, I hear you. It's time for a big UFC dust-up.
This ought to be good. The Disney Bundle, streaming at its best. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like I said. What? Oh, sorry, I had a notification for something. Jungle Cruise. Oh, uh, yeah. I have a feeling I gotta avoid the critics for Jungle Cruise because I, I, I've started to... Sorry, going off topic. I've started to lose faith in even some of my favorite critics. And Okay, when I say my favorite... Like, Chris Stuckman, I, I've always mentioned, is my favorite YouTube critic. And the reason I say that is because he's not like everyone else, where it's like, you know, he's he's not doing it to be like, he's not, you know, doing it like everyone else. He's just, like, more calm when you compare it, you know. And I'm kind of glad that Chris is not reviewing big movies or anything like that. Now, you know, I... I I am a little upset at that, but at the same time, I think I'm glad, because he's already stated that he just doesn't like bashing movies. It's become something that he's grown increasingly tired of, you know. Yeah, but I've been hearing some good things about Jungle Cruise, although I hear it's at 70% or something. I just know whenever it comes to The Rock, there are just going to be those critics that will do their best. To like, oh, it's because The Rock is in it. I love The Rock, and I like most of his films. Except for Baywatch, Pain and Gain. Yeah, there's a few films The Rock has made where I'm like, come on, man. Why'd you do that? Were you really desperate for a paycheck? But, um, yeah, like... I know people, I remember people complaining about Skyscraper. As much as I would have wanted to see Skyscraper as an R-rated film. Let me just prove to you that the Rock and R ratings do not work out well. Because he tried doing it with Doom. That sucks horribly. That failed horribly. Pain and Gain failed horribly. Because I really do not like Pain and Gain. I hate it when people say it's one of Michael Bay's better films. It is not. That movie put me in a bad place for two weeks. I couldn't sleep for two weeks because of that movie. I think the thing is, like, Pain and Gain is the most insulting movie ever made. It is like... You want to know how bad I think Pain and Gain is? It is like being irate. That's not a term. I swear to God, that... I mean, that really is not a term. But it's like... I... Raped or something. It's like, you're being raped... But it's like, it's like you can kind of feel your, like the movie wants you to laugh at every horrible thing that is going on. And I get it, comedy and dark humor is objective. But I only like dark humor when it's done right. And Michael Bay just did not do it right. Because it's like, oh look, uh, you know, um, hey, or something stupid. Like, for example, uh, Anthony Mackie's character has erectile dysfunction. That's funny. Look, you have to, you know, take injections to, you know, Rebel Wilson. That's funny. No, it's not. It's that's the problem. But I think the weird thing is because the Sun Jim Gang it was an actual gang that existed, and they're probably still out there. Who knows? They're probably seeing this and thinking, "We gotta extort money from this guy. We gotta kill this guy." Yes, I am afraid of the Sun Jim Gang. Those bastards can burn in hell. If it was me, I would, like, I go full psycho on their asses, honestly. All the members, but I can't say that. Ugh. I hate it when people say Pain and Gain is a good movie. Because if someone says that ever again, I know it's their opinion, but that is the one where I'm like, it's like Iron Man 3. People think it's better than Iron Man 2. I'm like, how high were you when you watched that? How high were how high were people when they watched Iron Man 3 and, G and um, Pain and Gain? I, I, I wonder, because I, I don't smoke. I don't smoke weed. I'm sorry, I don't. I know, I mean, for people, I understand why people have to smoke it, you know, because it's like they're very stressed, like, 
nowadays. I mean, I don't really endorse it, but it's like, I understand why people do it. I'm like, it's fine, man. You do you. I mean, I, I it's because my father was a chain smoker and so was a bit of a chain smoker. So that's why I don't want to smoke. I, I get why people do it. They do it so they can relax, you know, blow off some steam. Literally. Blow off some steam. Technically, that's a slang term for masturbation. <laughs> Actually, blow off, blowing off steam is another slang term for masturbation, now that I think about it. Uh, sometimes patience is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. Oh, for something so disappointing, Steve Rogers... Uh, hey, it's just, it's Dave Batista. I don't really care what the ad is. Oh, now I get why people are not liking this. It's because uh, I did not watch the three-hour live stream. I think there was a point to this commercial. Uh, what was the point? Uh, you're probably right. Oh, 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 oh. I love Statler and Waldorf. They're like the original Twitter people. They're like the OG trolls, Statler and Waldorf. They're, I, I have a feeling they were like based off of <laughs> to be like the Bizarro, Siskel, and Ebert. So it's like Statler. There should just be Statler and I should find Statler and Waldorf memes. Congrats, we both got scammed out of three hours. Could have watched Endgame instead. All I wanted was the Miss Marvel and Hawkeye release date, which is probably September 22nd. And November 10th. Dude, I really want to watch the, the, the shows. <sighs> um, Dave Batista is the perfect streamer. Uh, I don't really know what. I, I know I think about it. Yeah, I didn't really watch the stream. It's kind of like how I, I only knew about the Disney Investors Day stuff being announced rapidly while I was watching Enemy of the State, and Instagram was like... Twitter and Instagram was like going crazy, tell you. Damn. <clears throat> Honestly, I can't really be mad about this. I blame myself for getting overly hyped. Yeah. Actually, I was busy watching something else. I think, uh... What was I? Oh, right, I was watching uh, the Sparks Brothers, uh, the documentary. On the band, uh, on the musical duo, uh, Sparks. I waited three hours for Dave Batista in a canoe. Hey, I'd, I'd rather wait. It's like, Dave Batista, come on. Uh, Dave. All I got was Dave Batista. I'm fine. I'm fine with Dave Batista. Yeah. Hey, the fact they put Dave Batista in that book, and that is just funny. I don't know if I will get the streamer bundle, although I would want to know how my brother feels, because he, he really, my brother really loves the ESPN, so gotta end the video here. I spent way too long babbling about other stuff and reading the comments. I'll leave a link to it eventually in, in the description. Yeah, it's because it, it records in the opposite direction. The, the webcam just it it'll be somewhere in in the description. Video. I don't have the courage to say what else. Uh, proof that I'm doing I'm doing this like earlier. I just woke up. Yeah, there's that morning flu. There's that morning cold. Godspeed, everyone.